into the let's do it let's do it all right i just this is more of a um a, a reactionary piece let's let's just see um what are your thoughts when you see this <laughs> where where were you what was do you remember this of course i do we were at u-haul they set the stage up for us to do this uh, photo shoot. I actually love this photo shoot because obviously they got me holding a sledgehammer and I, I feel like that was my, that's how I played. I played the game hard and I'm glad I had that sledgehammer in my <laughs> hand. And also I was there with my teammates and coach. And how do you feel about Jamal holding that sledgehammer, I mean the jackhammer backwards? You know, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll say this much. Jamal has the best UVA jersey on, which is that orange and white. I love that yes. color jersey. Yeah. But, yes, um, I did see that his hands were on the um, <laughs> the equipment that way. But he still looked good, though. Yeah. He's, still rep he's still representing Jamaica, Queens, New York well. I mean, this, <laughs> this. I mean, they don't make, I mean, I hate to sound like the get off my lawn old guy. They don't make posters like this anymore. This thing, this, uh, I still have it up in my garage. Um, it's next, funny. Right. I just found that too. I found that at my parents as well, and I'm going to put that up in my place soon. All right, next one. What are your thoughts on the shorts? Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll say this: I've worn long, I've worn, worn long shorts, and I've had short shorts on um, by default in high school because we didn't have long shorts. So, you know. To each his own, man. You know, he probably was just trying to have some fun at practice because they got an 82 game season, and you know he's trying to bring some light to the to the team and stuff. So I probably I, that's probably what was going on. And he does it all the time now. All right, next one. I think you're gonna like this one. Hey, who is that guy with that uh, sweater on right there, <laughs> to the left? Yeah, we got fresh right there. What What are your thoughts on these outfits? This, especially, okay. you know, there's a look there. With, you know, with Brian Cornell, they all got the same. I don't even know what you call that. With, yeah, the, the, the paisley. Silk. The paisley. Yeah, yeah it's the not paisley even paisley. paisley shirts. I, I those. had those shirts. I had I had some of those shirts <laughs> I before. Those. So <laughs> I, I I can't knock them, man. Those guys, they look good in that era, man. And I looked up to a lot of those guys, man. Yeah, this is yeah. Oh, that's incredible. Did. Who, who's and, the best dressed there, Dino? Clearly the brother wow. in the front with the suit on. Ao, right there. Ao. Hey, yeah, Ao with the suit. That's pretty tight. Yeah, he looks that's like another. he's he looks like he's in charge right there. He's mm -hmm. like, yo, I'm I'm captain right here, like y'all. I don't know what y'all are doing. So Dino, back back in back in school, Bryant and you know, Bryant Stiff and Anthony Oliver, they ironed all their own shit before games, every game. Were, are you wow. part of that? Are you part of like a southern a southern kid raised by your mom learning how to iron your stuff and you had to do it by yourself before every game or you had somebody do that for you? I never did. No, I didn't I didn't do it. I didn't do much ironing. Um I actually <laughs> I actually was fortunate in my junior year to have somebody, they, man, they looked out for me a lot. Like I, I, I basically it. had, yeah, I, I basically had somebody look out after me with little stuff like that. So right. have me, me and me and have would be in the room next to him and, and me and have would be like, B, like Brian, you're a lotto pick B. Right. Like, just fucking tell Jeff Jones to come iron your shit. He'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's Brian's personality, man. Yeah, 100%. We were at a Daryl Green golf tournament one time a couple years ago. Bryant is eating with his family, and he's about to leave, and we got waitresses and everything. Instead of him letting the waitresses take his plate and all everything, Bryant took his stuff and put it in the trash can himself. That's Bryant Stiff. Right. That's Bryant Stiff. Yeah. And he also, he also made sure the, um, the sweet tea was free refilled, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> sensible practical sense sensible uh, guy um, and then and then what about this one you were there when this happened this is u-haul imploding what were your thoughts during during that um a lot of great memories in that gym a lot of great players just a lot of um uva uh, moments and sports happened there and um you know i guess it's just passing the baton from the old to the new, you know, JPJ is an amazing arena and, right. you know, they're going to do something different, I guess, with that space. Now I was kind of sad to see it go because obviously that's, you know, where me and fresh 
and uh, many other guys, you know, played games. But, you know, it's 2020, and, you know, you got you to gotta move on. Things are always constantly changing. Like, you, wow, were, ac you were actually there. What was the mood like? Was it actually sad, or were people kind of, like, celebrating, I, I, you know, like, how – that's, that seems like a weird thing to be a part of, like watching a building go down, right? I, I'm going to be honest. So the night before, you know, Ralph had to get together. Yeah. And, you know, we hanging out, having a good time, man. And I ain't going to lie. I didn't make it to the imploding that morning. <laughs> <laughs> what, time, what time was it? It was like about, I think, 8.30 or 9.30, something yeah, like that. I get it. I, I didn't make it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> And la see. all right, last one. Oh man, I'm I'm, I'm gonna blow this up for you because there there might be a few questions. This that, that's amazing. That's amazing, right there, man. I mean, you have guys from different eras all celebrating our first national championship ever, man. Like, I mean, like I said, man, I'm getting chill bumps actually right now, just thinking about the moment, the experience the team, how well they played together, man. Just, just a lot of emotion that comes along with, with that picture. I mean, this picture right here is, you know, talk about talk about the Rushmore right That's here, amazing. right? That's candidates right there. That's I mean, that, who's that goofy white guy right over your shoulder? I don't you know. <laughs> um, He's just a, it's shout not out a Cody. photo. No, that's photo Cody. Cody. Oh, Cody. That's Cody. <laughs> um, but, but, like, and none of you guys played together, yet you're still so. I mean, that's that's very telling right there. All you guys together, which I, I, I have this picture. I think it's super cool. Like all, all you guys, I remember your career so well. Oh yeah, you know, actually, um, Josh Hare was the guy that called me. The guy that's um in the yellow yeah, in yeah. the middle. Uh -huh. Slaughter he's the, he's the, Yeah, he's the one that called me. Um, when we beat Purdue and we we're going to the Final Four, he said, um, HD. You know, you, you mean a lot to this program, man. Look, just get your plane ticket. I'm going to take care of everything else. You, you deserve to be out here at the Final Four. And I was in the process of moving from Orange County to back to Virginia. And so I didn't even know if I was going to even be able to make the Final Four. But when he wow. told me just buy, buy my plane ticket, he's going to take care of everything else. I was like, shoot, I'm coming to the Final Four. So that's actually <laughs> Josh Harris, the reason why that I made it to the Final Four. Shout out Josh here. That's a good. Yeah, we had a lot. Of, had a lot of fun with Josh out there too. I mean, yes, he sir. was he was like, I, you know, I was I consider myself a, a slaughter rat, but he was always he was there before I got there and after I got there. So I could, he was right. the king of that. Like he was always there. He was amazing with that. Like talk about you know, working hard and and getting paid out. Like he got playing time. He was a great walk on. Pretty amazing stuff. But um, yes, yeah. indeed. Do you know Josh gave me a he gave me a ride to the to the airport on Tuesday too. You see what I'm saying? That type was, of stuff, man. I was, I was, I was like one level below you. I didn't have anywhere to stay. Nothing. At least you were set up. <laughs> oh yeah, most definitely, man. <laughs> it was an amazing time, I tell you. And then I got a chance to talk to Malcolm for a little bit. I told him, you know, congratulations for you know everything he did for the program and what he's doing in the league, and for you sure. know, with with the water stuff and all that, man. So it's just good to like, you know, show people respect that you have seen you know be successful and also that are part of the program no doubt well we appreciate you and you yeah. know if this if this locker room access does what we think it's going to do the next time we go to the final four we got you so um, that that's the goal and the dream right that we can support um all the all the guys that made this possible um in future endeavors so thank you and i gotta you. say one more one more thing i cannot uh -huh. leave out roger mason the guy that wore my jersey number 21 also. Little did I know he grew up watching me play, um, follow my career, he told me he, that was one of the reasons why he wore number 21. Come to find out we have some similar um, connections and stuff. And we had a moment right before the national championship game. Me, him, and Josh was sitting in a hotel room. And we were like, man, DeAndre got to show up, you know, for this national championship game, you know, he's had a couple subpar games in the tournament. And I said, look, I said, watch, DeAndre is going to have his best game of the tournament, and we're going to win the national championship today. I said, mark my words. We were sitting there talking about this right before we went to the um, arena, man. And, boy, did those guys show up and play so well, man. Very proud moment in history for UVA. Absolutely. 
That's awesome. The best. The best. Oh, it is so great having you on the show. We want to thank you one more time. Really appreciate it. Look forward to catching up in person. And for everyone listening, please don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, Apple Podcast, and Spotify. Also, check out our latest gear at LockerRoomAccess.com. Harold, we got a, T-Dubs will send you something. Yeah, hey, we got you. We got a little Very package soon. for you. Cook you up with a, with a real cool sweatshirt. He's come up with all kinds of great stuff. Man, hey, also, man. Really good. For really T-Dubs in California, for Dougie Fresh Smith, I'm Mark Jerome. Until next time, giving you Locker Room Access.